How to Inform Commission Funding Guideline 2022. Introduction to Funding Guideline. The Gauteng Film Commission, GFC's core business, is to facilitate and enhance the industry's contribution to the economic growth of the province. It has an essential role in enhancing Gauteng's competitiveness in driving job creation and economic development. This guideline describes eligibility and selection criteria for those who wish to apply for funding from the Gauteng Film Commission. Slide 3 tiered approach to funding. The tiered approach to funding ensures that all filmmakers level from emerging to the experienced benefit equitably from funding and programs of the organization. Information about the minimum number of projects that can be supported per financial year will be available on the website. The three tiers are categorized as follows. Tier 1 Experienced filmmakers who have a proven track record for developing and producing three to five theatrically released feature films. Tier two, for the film industry to share knowledge and best practice. Tier three, to market for upcoming filmmaker. Slide four, funding objectives. To fulfill the vision and mission of the GFC, the following objectives have been identified. One, to fund the development and production of audiovisual in the province. Two, to support the early careers of emerging filmmakers by allowing them to gain real experience in effectively running profitable and sustainable businesses. Three, to aid developing talent in the province. Four, to develop audiences in the province and to increase appreciation of local content. Five, to create jobs in Gauteng province. Six, to increase market opportunities and foster distribution of Gauteng made productions. Seven, to support content aimed at linear and non-linear channels. Geographic spread. GFC prioritizes applications from the following regions of the Gauteng province. One, city of Ekuruleni, East Corridor. 2. City of Tswane, North Corridor. 3. City Bank District Municipality, South Corridor. 4. West Rand District Municipality, West Corridor. 5. City of Johannesburg, Central Corridor. Slide 5. General Terms and Conditions of Funding. Gauteng Film Commission funding is subject to several general and specific terms and conditions. Concept. Gauteng Film Commission will fund productions that raise consciousness in our communities. The applications will be evaluated on the strength, originality, and uniqueness of the story idea. Themes. To be funded must positively and objectively promote patriotism. We will prioritize themes that are aligned to critical priorities of the provincial government, which will be clearly articulated when announcing calls for proposals. Transformation, race, gender, key black management positions, persons living with disability are factors that will be taken when evaluating applications. Slide six, payment structure. The payment structure is based on the payment principle in advance for work that is yet to be done. According to milestone deliverables, linked to a payment schedule annexed to the contract signed between the GFC and the beneficiary. The GFC will pay the first portion of funding upon signature of the contract and project or production implementation plan. Funding recipients have one year to utilize all funds approved. Application for extensions must be submitted three months before the expiry of the approved cycle. The GFC reserves the right to approve or decline extension requests. Subsequent payments will be released upon the satisfactory completion of milestones by the beneficiary as per the payment schedule. Since grant funding paid to beneficiaries by the GFC is not exchanged for a commercial service, such payments will not attract VAT. Slide 7. Application process. Step number 1. 
the Hauteng Film Commission will call for proposals and advertise the call for proposals on all GFC communications platforms. The call will be open for periods between 14 to 30 days. Step 2. All applications will be submitted through the GFC online portal and no late submissions will be accepted. Step 3. GFC will appoint independent adjudicators consisting of not more than five persons who are industry practitioners, which will be evaluated. This process will take 7 to 21 days. Step 4. The CEO will present recommendations from the panel of experts to the board of directors for approval. And this step will take 7 to 21 days. Step 5. The applicant must ensure that information submitted is accurate, complete, and that they should disclose anything that may influence the application's evaluation. Step 6. Successful applicants will be required to sign a contract with GFC within 15 calendar days upon the grant's approval. Slide 8. Required documents for all funding applications. Eligible applicants who do not provide all the following documentation will be disqualified from consideration. 1. Completed online application. 2. Certified identity documents. 3. Tax clearance certificate, TCC or tax PIN. 4. BBBEE certificate. 5. Certified company registration. 6. Certified share certificate, where available. 7. Bank account confirmation letter obtained within three months at date of application. 8. Detailed profile of applicant, biography or CV. 9. Completed declaration of conflict of interest form, SBD. 10. For training providers, proof of registration with the Department of Higher Education or relevant authority, referred to South African Qualifications Authority guidelines. 11. Incomplete applications will not be considered. Slide 9. Funding exclusions. The organization does not fund the following. Activities whose outcomes are solely directed towards a single employer's interests supported by the skills development levy. Individuals or companies who are not South African citizens. A production for a degree or diploma in performing arts, whether at local or international tertiary institutions. Training programs primarily focused on the performing arts. Persons or companies who have exhausted the annual prescribed limit for funding of one project per year or who have not satisfactorily discharged the contractual obligations on a previously funded project. Funding for reality TV shows. Appeals. A dissatisfaction on how the decision to decline the project was reached should be submitted to the GFC within 30 calendar days of receiving a signed letter. The appeal process will be lodged through our legal department who will escalate the matter to the relevant committee. Conditional release of funds. In the case of projects with multiple financiers, the production funds will not be released until all funds for the project have been raised and proof provided to the organization in the form of a letter from the bonder confirming that the strike price for the project has been met and that the bonder accepts the risk. Slide 10. Underscript development funding. Feature films, which are fiction and documentary, have a cap of 140,000 rand under tier 1 and 2. Short films that are fiction and documentary have a cap of 90,000 rand under tier 2 and 3. Production funding. Feature films that are fiction, recoupable, have a cap of 350,000 rand under tier 1 and 2. Short films that are fiction and documentary have a cap of 180,000 rand under tier 1 and 2. Short films that are fiction and documentary have a cap of 130,000 rand under tier 3. Digital content for streaming platforms have a cap of 100,000 under tier 2 and 3. Content for television or SVOD 1 to 13 plus episodes have a cap of 250,000 rand under tier 2 and 3. Women and LGBTIQ have a cap of 100,000 under tier 3. 
and heritage and historical content have a cap of 150,000 Rand under Tier 2. Disaggregation of beneficiaries based on annual targets have a target for women at 40%, a target for youth at 40%, and a target for PWD at 10%. Slide 11. The Gauteng Film Commission evaluates all applications for development funding utilizing the following criteria. Does the concept raise consciousness in our communities? Does it cover heritage concepts? Does the applicant display strength, originality, and uniqueness of the story idea? Does the production creative concept cover aligned to GFC themes, that is, positive stories and objectively promote patriotism and telling of compelling positive South African stories? Has the applicant provided a world that has been well-researched with insights that will make it plausible to its intended audience? Does the production have a marketing and distribution plan with clear deliverables? In the case of documentaries, applicants may submit a detailed outline instead of a script, but must provide proof of consent from the subject or subjects and participants in the project. Does the production company offer skills transfer and mentorship would the production be completed by the end of the financial year? Is the budget requested within GFC limit as per the provided funding cap guidelines? Jobs to be created for youth, women, and PWD. Have they secured funding from other partners and is there proof that is letter of intent? Slide 12. Enterprise Development Criteria. The Gauteng Film Commission evaluates all applications for enterprise development funding utilizing the following criteria. Regional consideration for motivation for startup equipment kit, targeting five beneficiaries per region. Support growth for industry that will result jobs that are sustainable. Enterprise development has a cap of 50,000 Rand under tier two and three. Disaggregation of beneficiaries, 25 per year. Target for women, 40%, target for youth, 40%, target for PWD, 10%. Slide 13, caps of funding, skills development. Script development funding, non-accredited training have a cap of 50,000 Rand under tier two and three. Accredited training have a cap of 100,000 under tier three. Gauteng province under and postgraduate have a cap of 90,000 Rand that is for the unemployed or for students. Disaggregation of beneficiaries, eight per year. Target for women, 40%. Target for youth, 40%. Target for PWD, 10%. Bursaries criteria. Financial need. Applicants meet required criteria if combined gross income of parents or guardian or applicants is less than 600,000 per annum. Academic performance. The applicant's academic performance is rated based on their current or latest results or qualification. Slide 14. The Gauteng Film Commission funds film training conducted by accredited service providers under the following conditions. Training for new entrants to allow them to launch successful careers in the formal industry. Skills programs for professionals already in the industry to enhance their career development. Workshops run by professional bodies training provided in Gauteng and bursaries. Slide 15, skills development. Accredited training. The Gauteng Film Commission requires that accredited training providers submit the following with their applications. Proof of accreditation of curriculum to be provided during training. Curriculum, course outline and training outcomes. Identification of targeted learners. Comprehensive Curriculum Vitae or CV of Masterclass Tutor outlining subject matter expertise and previous experience on delivering similar projects. Training Provider Profile and Track Record. Realistic Benchmarked Budget. Financial Plan including a list of additional project sponsors and their planned contributions to the project. Learner Selection Criteria. Anticipated competencies upon course completion. Details of practical training while on the course. Details of post-program support. And assessment and evaluation criteria. Slide 16. Skills development. 
non-accredited training. Funding is provided for non-accredited film training programs run by industry experts in the form of masterclasses. Course outline for masterclass workshops. Comprehensive curriculum of masterclass tutor. Outlining subject matter expertise and previous experience on delivering similar projects. Identification of mid-career professionals targeted for training and learner selection criteria. Festival associated with masterclass where applicable. Realistic, benchmarked budget. Financial plan including a list of additional project sponsors and their planned contributions to the project. Anticipated competencies upon course completion. Details of practical training while on the course where applicable and details of post-program support. Slide 17. Audience development criteria. The Gauteng Film Commission considers only applications that provide the following elements for the audience development and distribution of moving image content. A business plan that illustrates how this initiative will inculcate the culture of local content appreciation. A proven marketing and distribution track record of the applicant. A detailed project implementation plan, including proposed screening program. Detailed audience development budget. A document outlining target audience. Proof of copyright ownership, classification or release documentation. And demonstration of innovative marketing approaches sensitive to the target market. Slide 18. Marketing and distribution category description. The Gauteng Film Commission offers marketing and distribution funding for the following. 1. Complete production projects that meet all GFC production criteria who require marketing reach, distribution and or sales. Criteria. A detailed and feasible marketing, communication and distribution plan including marketing and communications. 1. Film launch plan and budget. Pre, during and post-marketing and communications plan, including print, broadcasting, digital, and stakeholder plan. Distribution. One, distribution plan including a letter of commitment, intent, or engagement for distribution from a reputable distributor or sales agent, or a similar letter from a broadcaster or streaming platform. Two, licensing, commissioning, or syndication and or sales plan. Three, Letters of commitment, intent, or engagement from co-founders in the case of co-finance projects. Four, letters of commitment, intent, or engagement from international co-producers and their funders in the case of international co-productions. Five, relevance to a South African audience and or international audience in the case of co-productions. Slide 19, marketing and distribution funding caps. Feature films that are fiction have a cap of 150,000 Rand under Tier 1. Short films that are fiction and documentary have a cap of 150,000 under Tier 1. Short films that are fiction and documentary have a cap of 100,000 Rand under Tier 2. Digital content for streaming platforms have a cap of 50,000 Rand for Tier 3. Content for television or SVOD have a cap of 50,000 Rand under Tier 3. Slide 20. Marketing and distribution, signature film festivals, screenings and markets. Category description. The Gauteng Film Commission only considers festival or market attendance and or participation for the following. Hosting festivals or markets that are launching pads for local films. Hosting of festivals with career-enhancing prospects and networking. Hosting of masterclasses and professional development programs. Criteria. A business plan that illustrates how this initiative will inculcate the culture of local content appreciation. A proven track record of hosting events, screenings, markets and or festivals of proposed size, format and theme. A detailed project implementation plan, including the proposed screening program. A document outlining target audience. Proof of screen films, copyright ownership, classification or release documentation. And demonstration of innovative marketing approaches sensitive to the target market. Slide 21. 
marketing and distribution signature film festivals, screenings and markets, funding caps. Small, 20 to 100 delegates or attendees have a cap of 50,000 Rand under tier three. Medium, 100 to 500 delegates or attendees have a cap of 100,000 under tier two. Large, 500 plus delegates or attendees have a cap of 200,000 under tier one. Slide 22, marketing and distribution, film festivals and market attendance. Category description, the Gauteng Film Commission offers festival funding utilizing the following. Filmmakers who have been invited to a film festival or film market. Filmmakers who have a film screening or workshop or speaking opportunity at a festival or market. Filmmakers who will be pitching his or her project at a festival or market. Filmmakers will be attending valuable training workshops at a festival or market. Filmmakers will be representing their films at an award ceremony. Criteria. Proof of invitation. Attendance or showcase plan. Number and details of attendees or delegation. Departure, return, accommodation and other related details. Trip itinerary. Nominated film trailer or workshop information pack or talk. Marketing and distribution, film festivals and markets. Funding caps. All nominated productions have a cap of 50,000 Rand for all tiers. Slide 23. Marketing and distribution. 1. 30 seconds to 5 minute film trailer will be advantageous. 2. Proof of jobs to be created, accredited and non-accredited will be an added advantage. 3. Proof of job creation for people with disabilities will be an added advantage. Interprovincial and transnational co-productions. The above co-productions will require the following to qualify. 1. Commitment to shoot at least 60% of the film in Gauteng. 2. Proof that 60% creative personnel reside in Gauteng. Slide 25. Marketing and distribution, special targets per category. Target for women, 40%. Target for youth, 40%. Target for PWD, 10%. Special projects aligned to the mandate of the GFC and aligned to the app will be funded from the special projects budget and or in collaboration with the marketing and ISD unit. Special projects below 500,000 will be supported and approved at the discretion of the CEO acting. Contact us, 35 Riesig Street, Surrey House, Johannesburg, 2001, South Africa. Telephone, plus 27, 011, 833, Or you can email project at howdingfilmcommission.org.za www.howdingfilm.org.za